Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? We're delving into Meta today. Our initial report was out on Friday, March 15, 2024, and now we're offering a more in-depth analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications for our latest insights. Stay informed to make informed decisions regarding your investments. Boost your trading strategies with our cutting-edge AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analyses for over 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember, this video is purely for informational purposes and does not constitute financial advice. Since December 7, 2023, our system has identified Meta as a buy candidate with a score of 2.06. Now, let's review how the stock has performed during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have seen a significant gain of 48.23% since we first recommended Meta as a buy candidate 68 days ago. This translates to an average daily return of 0.71% since it was listed as a buy candidate. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 56.6% change in the upcoming three months, with a potential return between 56.6% and 71.9%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is an 86.11% projected change over the next year, leading to a return range of 46.09% to 99.11%. This could result in a price range of $707.24 to $963.92 by the end of the year. Our latest update on Meta reports that the stock price closed at $484.10 on Friday, marking a 1.57% decrease. The Meta stock price dropped by 1.57% on Friday, March 15, 2024, falling from $491.83 to $484.10. This decline marks the third consecutive day of decrease. Throughout the trading day, the stock price ranged from a low of $481.30 to a high of $491.68, fluctuating by 2.16%. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in seven instances, resulting in a total decrease of 3.62%. The trading volume increased by 16 million shares on the last day, despite the declining prices, possibly indicating an upcoming risk in the market. A total of 29 million shares were exchanged, amounting to approximately $13.84 billion in transactions. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock reached a high of $523.57 and a low of $193.64. Currently, the price sits 7.54% or $39.47 below the 52-week high, which also represents the all-time peak for the stock. Today, let's dive into the latest analyst ratings for Meta. On Friday, February 2, 2024, KeyBank rated Meta as overweight with a hold action. Earlier, on Wednesday, January 31, 2024, Needham gave Meta a buy rating with a hold action. Additionally, on the same day, JMP Securities provided Meta with a market outperform rating along with a hold action. Looking back to Tuesday, January 30, 2024, UBS and Mizuho Securities both gave Meta an overweight rating with a hold action. Analysts have rated Meta stock as a strong buy overall. They have assigned a strong buy rating to the P-E ratio and price to book ratio. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts have also given a strong buy rating for the stock. Identified signals for Meta A sell signal was triggered from a pivot top point on Thursday, March 7, 2024, resulting in a decline of minus 5.48%. Further downside is expected until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, a sell signal is currently present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume increased during the decline, indicating caution. Some positive signals are also present influencing short-term developments. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal, while the long-term average signals a buy. With the short-term average above the long-term average, a general buy signal is suggested, forecasting positively for the stock. 
Resistance is expected at around $496.14, with support at approximately $469.98. A breakout above the short-term average signals a buy, while a breakdown below the long-term average signals a sell. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 7 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 7 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The long term moving average, buy signal 96 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Meta. Meta currently finds support from accumulated volume at $484.03. This level could present a buying opportunity as we may see an upward reaction when the support is tested. This stock typically has good trading volume, and with minor daily fluctuations, the risk is considered relatively low. In the last trading day, Meta moved $10.38, 2.16%, between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.99%. Let's begin by looking at some essential fundamental data before discussing potential trading levels for Meta. Firstly, the price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is a key metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio is within the normal range, commonly observed in established businesses with consistent revenue streams. On another note, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 24, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $4.27. It's crucial to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Let's now explore potential day trading levels for Meta. In the event of an upward trend, the initial resistance level for Meta stands at $486.13. If you are not currently holding any shares, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For existing shareholders, this level could be suitable for swing trading. Conversely, Meta faces its first support level at $484.03 on the downside. Should this support level hold, it might present a favorable entry point, with the expectation of a rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On March 12, 2024, Neustad Jennifer sold 585 shares of Class A common stock. On March 13, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark sold 31,493 shares of Class B common stock. On March 13, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark sold 13,125 shares of Class B common stock. On March 13, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark bought 32,794 shares of Class A common stock. On March 13, 2024, Zuckerberg Mark sold 1,100 shares of Class A common stock. After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is negative with a ratio of minus 33.230. Overall, insiders purchased 186,317 shares and sold 372,916 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $462.24, representing a decrease of 4.52%. This stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, translating to lower risks. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top six days ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Despite some negative signals slash indicators affecting short-term development, we see a potential buying opportunity at current levels with the price likely to increase over the next three months. Our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued based on recent volatility and trading patterns. For trading on Monday, March 18, we anticipate Meta to open up $1.59 and begin trading at
It is important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Share your thoughts on our current stock view. What's your target for this stock? Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for successful trading. Have a great day from all of us at StockInvest.